Hello and welcome. Let's get started. This is the journey of the secret mastermind of what to do to take care of your cold, flu symptoms, sinus, whatever it is, okay? You see the ingredients right there. Cloves, thyme, rosemary, sage, right? You really only need cloves and thyme, okay? You don't really need the rosemary and the sage, okay? And this next ingredient, you see me dropping down to the side, See, that is the creme de la creme. You don't need that for any flu symptoms, but that blue vervain, watch it come into the screen, right? That right there going to get more oxygen to your brain. That's also what the rosemary do. The sage is going to give you energy. Now, time, I haven't done a whole lot of research on time. I just know it was suggested to deal with sinus issues. So there go those ingredients right there. You probably already got them in your kitchen. You ain't even got to go out to get it. Now get that water boiling hot. It's on the stove, cooking, boiling. It's hot in there, right? I didn't even know how hot it was. When I grabbed this lid to pull it off, uh, it was really too hot for my hand. But for the sake of this video, I went ahead and been the hero and took the lid off. Now you see I got it going in slow motion for you. Slow motion for you. You know what I'm saying? This ain't juvenile them or nothing like that. But slow motion on that hot water, right? Because we're going to turn the heat off. Then we're going to put the ingredients into this water. Now I don't have no necessarily measurement tactics. I just put the stuff in there the way I want to put it in there. Normally I do three big heaping tea tablespoons. See that tablespoon? And I'm digging into the blue vervain, right? You see I got a big old, big old job, blue vervain. Cause this stuff here relaxes your nerves and your brain and all that stuff and helps with your lucid dreaming and just get your creativity going. I'm talking about this thing right here, blue vervain calms you down. Now it's not as strong and deep as that valerian root, but I'm not bringing the valerian that root out right now. Cause I'm making a formula that's gonna help you during the cold and flu season and with your sinus. See, a lot of us think we sick, right? But your body is just adjusting and swelling up and doing different things, right? So I urge you to research each one of these herbs individually, right? Always consult your doctor. I am not a doctor, okay? I just do what I do for me and I know it worked. I got it from somebody else. I did the research. I tried it. I applied it, you know, and it, and it's, it's, it's awesome, right? So boom, I'm dropping that blue vervain in there, three big tablespoons, and we pop it. Now, what's next on the list? I should have been a picture up first, so this is a little out of sync. It looks like the cloves, though. That's what that looks like. So I'm dropping three tablespoons of that clove. This is grounded up. Normally, it's the big cloves, but I only got the ground up cloves, so don't take a whole lot. Next is that time. You see that time? It's always on time. Yeah, that time... Like I said, I haven't done a whole lot of research on it, but it goes along with the thyme and the cloves. Those really are the only two ingredients you need if you're dealing with some type of sinus effect, okay? So, I might need to turn the gain up on this thing. I don't know, negative five. I'm going to listen back to it and see how it sounds. I ain't going to worry about it right now. We're three minutes in. I'm dropping the time down in here, okay? Yeah, let that time go. Get your minds together. Research that time. So we got the clothes and we got the time in there. Let's see what's up next on the menu. What, what are we dropping in there next? Come on. Take a little time to put in there. What's the next thing? What are we looking for? Oh, that looked like rosemary already in there. Did we drop the rosemary already? Yeah, that's what that looked like. Looked like that rosemary. Let me tell you about that rosemary. It's energy. Gives you creativity, gives you everything. Oh, I see what happened. The, the bottle wasn't in view, but that's that rosemary, see? Mm-hmm. Oh, the rosemary, I thought it was open, right? But it, but when we're going to see what happened right here. Because uh, apparently, well, that means the rosemary wasn't applied yet. And I didn't. Oh, the rosemary is open. Okay, it's open. So we good on the rosemary. Okay, show it to them. Show them the rosemary so they see what it is. You can make rosemary tea all by itself. I did that for a while. And when I made it all by itself, 
Oh, man, that thing had my creativity going in my brain. Just joke after joke after joke after joke. You know, that's what I do in that arena, that comedic arena is put these jokes together. And yeah, Rosemary will do that for you. So it don't taste all sweet and all like that. And look, when you drink this stuff, you're not looking for no sweetness. Okay? You looking for the benefits. What do I gain from this? Right? So you got to stop being all wanting something sweet and all that. You don't need the sweetness. Let the bitterness, the bitterness heals you on the inside. And that rosemary make like a little pinkish like tea. Now you can drop some ginger in there with you to curve the taste. You can put some key lime in there. Uh, you know, for those of you that can't stand it, go and get your little uh, agave or whatever to sweeten it up or some dates, right? I'm on that alkaline side, so I don't be doing like no regular sugar. All this stuff, I'm gonna drink it just the way it is with no sweetener. But I would rather you have something to drink than, you know, not to drink as long as you drink it. So now y'all see me grabbing the sage. A sage was also re recommended to me for clarity, creativity, for my thoughts, energy, all that type of stuff. But you know what? He told me to get black sage. And if you notice, all my items are organic, right? I go ahead and get it organic. I don't know if they mess with it or not. If it wasn't this, that, or the other, like, that's not my problem. That's not my issue. I've been drinking this stuff. Uh, haven't had any uh, side effects that weren't good. Always been good results. And so that's why I'm adding the sage to the mix right now. Yeah. You can sage if you want to, or you can leave your sage behind. A lot of y'all thought, oh, we just burn sage, white sage. No, you can drink sage too. Yeah, energy. But I'm going to find that black sage one day. I don't know when I'm going to find it. I'm adding something right here in the videos. are probably out of cue, but it's all good because the main thing was for you to get the clothes and the time. Remember that. That's me and the sage and stirring it all in. See it just blend. Now, I normally like to let mine sit for 24 hours before I pour it and strain it. You're not going to be able to see me pour it and strain it because... I didn't record that part of the video yet. That's why you can't see it. And you don't need to see it because I showed you the gist of putting together a concoction, right? That you probably already got all the ingredients anyway or down there seasoning on your food. But you can drink this as a tea. And especially during cold and flu season or whenever you feel them symptoms coming on, that's when you need to brew this up, right? Or you can drink it anytime if you're a creative person and you want oxygen going to your brain and you want thoughts and great ideas and so much going on. Now, now that blue vervain, not the blue vervain, but the valerian root, that thing will wake you up out your sleep with the creativity. But blue vervain does it too, but just a little milder. It's not as intense as that valerian root, okay? And I'm going to mention valerian root before I even make the valerian root video because I need you to know about valerian root. But mostly I drink that valerian root when I'm getting ready to lay down and go to sleep because it makes you a little drowsy, right? Because that's when your creativity really happens in the dreams. But we ain't going that deep right here. This is the blue vervain, mostly what you see floating on the top along with the rosemary. That's going to allow you to get the deep creativity and everything and stay awake and drink this during the day. This will replace an energy drink. Let me say it one more time. Replace an energy drink before it ends. Yeah, that part. 